didn't know you were coming home. Well, the transplant was a success. And I wanted to surprise you. But you look so well. I mean, that's not normal, is it? Jules, why don't we give your mum some space and come back later? You need to rest. Are we all just ignoring the fact that mum's back on drugs? Where did you even get the gear? Mum! Talk to me! Ha Harold? Who's Harold? You don't need to know. <laughs> Are you back on the game? <laughs> <laughs> Understand. You were doing so well. It's not exactly been easy for a Jules. What you're going through, it's difficult for all of us, not just you. Well, I don't see either of you turning to smack to cope. Just her. But why am I surprised? You do this every time. You knew that this would push me to breaking point, but I bet it didn't even cross your mind once. Did I? You're never off my mind. <laughs> my entire life can be split up into two chunks. One half, where I spend my life worrying that you're going to die from some overdose or a violent punter. And the second half, where I spend my life worrying that I'm going to die from this cancer. It's not her fault. I pushed her to it. Stop trying to protect her. She's a screw up. She always has been and she always will be. It's not true. No one forced her into it. This is entirely on her. And you know what, Mum? If I spend one more second wasting my energy worrying about you, then it won't be the cancer that kills me. It'll be you. How did the transplant go? How are you feeling? We've missed you. You all right? Yeah, well, I was all right until I walked in on my mum doing drugs. What? Drugs? Yeah. And she's back on the game. But you know what? I really shouldn't expect anything less from her because she really has been that selfish my entire life. Listen, Jules, your mum's an addict. And she's fragile and right now she's very, very vulnerable. You know, the thought of losing you will be keeping her up all night. Like it would any mum. You know, if she could magic away your cancer like that, she would. But she can't. That'll be killing her. You can't let her go down this path, though. I can't stop her. You can. You, you can be kind to her. And show her a little empathy. You know, I am no way taken away from the fact that this has been truly Awful for you. But doesn't that just prove that life's too short to waste being angry? She's right, Jules. If I was you, I would go and find your mum and give her a big cut on. Tell her how much you love her. I'm sorry, love, I am not strong enough to be the mum that you need. I'm sorry! I didn't mean what I said! No, you were right. I'm a mess. I always have been and I always will be. What are we done here? Mum, I love you and I really need you. We all do. No, you have all be better off without me, love. You're wrong. I can't do this without you. Please, Mum, don't get in that car. You're back. Someone taught me around. Don't know what I'd do without you. Look, 
I can't pretend the last 24 hours didn't happen. So I'm gonna ring my sponsor in the morning and go back to my support group. Cause I need to be strong for you. I'm... I'm so sorry for the things I said about you being a bad parent. Since Mother died, it's you who've been sailing the ship, not me. I've let you all down so many times. You've been there for me. Neither of us have a great track record, do we? But none of that matters. Not now. But whatever happens, we can hold our heads high and be proud of how we looked out for each other. Everything's gonna be okay, isn't it? Of course. James? Of course. It always is. Hey, we heard about Donna Marie. Is she okay? We were this close to losing her. I saw her as well. She was really upset. I just gave her a hug and sent her on her way like that was going to be enough. It's not your fault. It's mine. I pushed her. You can't take responsibility for everything, and that's not going to help. She's a big girl. She makes her own calls. She's vulnerable, and I knew it. I put myself first, as per usual. I'm a disgrace. You what? How can you say that? I can't lose them. You're not gonna. Look at me. You've all just been through the ringer. And I am so proud of you. I've seen how much you fought for them. <laughs> you wouldn't say that if you knew what I'd done. What have you done? In order to get a reduced sentence. Eric requires a character witness. And on his orders, I may have manipulated someone into doing that for him. Who? Maxine. <laughs> 